Hi, this is a quick video to demonstrate how to copy or move items or links from one course content area uh, to another one within the same course or between courses. Now, this is not about copying an entire course from one course shell to another. There is a utility within Blackboard uh, called the Course Copy Utility that you would use to do that. I'm just talking about copying items or files or links from one content area to another. As you can see, I'm in a Blackboard course in Blackboard version 9.1. Uh, edit mode is turned on. If it were turned off, I wouldn't see the controls on the various items uh, on my screen. I'm going to be sure it's turned on so I can see those controls. I mean the little drop downs and uh, you'll see how they work in a moment. And uh, pay attention to the menu for this course. Uh, I'm in the information area right now, but there's another area called reading list links. Let me click on that and you can see that there's nothing in that area. I'm going back to the information area and here are some items and let's say I want to move a couple of these items to the reading list links area. First of all I'm going to copy the reading instructions. It's an item that I created in the visual text box editor. I click the little drop down and choose copy. Notice there's a move command also. I could move it, that is uh, copy it there and delete the current instance, or I can copy it, create another instance. The course I'm in is the destination course, Sandbox Course 2. Look on my course menu, you can see that's the name of the course I'm in. Destination folder I have to pick. I click the browse button and there's only one other folder to choose, reading list links, and let's submit. Okay, now let's go into reading list links, and there's that copy. Okay, real easy. Now, let's copy a file link. Uh, the timeline of discovery PDF document is what I've uploaded to this content area. Let's say I want to copy it into the reading list links. Let's choose copy, same course, browse, reading list links, folder, and submit. Okay, there's really nothing to copy. That's copying within the same course. Now let's say I want to copy to a different course. I want to take this timeline of discovery PDF document and copy it into another of my courses. Let's choose copy once again, but this time notice there's a drop down next to destination course and all of the courses I'm teaching are listed here. So I'm going to choose another one, Sandbox Course 3, Browse. I see the file structure of, of uh, Sandbox Course 3. I choose to put it in the content area and submit. This time I get a success item copied message at the top of my screen. I'll close that. And that's all there is to copying between courses in the current semester courses I teach. Alright, let's move an item. Let's say we don't want this document called bomb design uh, on this in this content area. We want it in the reading list links area. Click the drop down next to the link. Choose move. Same course. Browse to the destination folder. Choose reading list links and submit. And there's our success message. Notice it has disappeared from the documents that were linked on this page. When we go to reading list links, we'll see it moved to this content area. Okay, nothing to it really. Let's go back to our information area. Uh, demonstrate moving to another course. It's obvious how you do it, but let's, uh, let's show it. We'll take target selection and move it. Select a different course, Sandbox Course 3 browse to its file structure, choose the folder in which it is to be moved, and submit. It's removed from this area and moved to the other course. Okay, that's all there is uh, to copying and moving items, links, 
documents from within uh, one course or between courses. Thanks for listening.